Hey guys, welcome out to the shop today. We're going to be doing a tool review on the Dremel Multimax MM40. It is a great little tool, uh, very good for the uh, everyday DIY person. Um, it's got uh, a couple different options that the MM20 does not have, and we're going to go over and talk about them. A couple of the uh, key features that I like about it is that it comes with so many accessories. You've got um, the sanding pad, which I currently have on there. You have a couple different um, cutting options, one for wood and drywall, one for just wood, and then one for wood and metal. And then you have this other uh, little accessory that's a scraper. They're all uh, really good and durable. They don't um, bend easily and the teeth I haven't found wore out. A couple of these ones I haven't used yet. Um, I've used the ones that came with the MM20, um, but another key option that I like on the Dremel Multimax is the quick change uh, feature on it. And what, uh, what I mean is that it's got this little level or lever right here. All you do is push it to the side and it releases the the piece quick set if you want to go from like say you're sanding and we need to go ahead and cut a uh, the bottom of a door frame you just take it and you slide it down and then wiggle it and line up all your holes and it's and it's ready to go and it's just a flip of a switch and you're already going uh, so that's one of the good features on this. Now, as you can see with the case, it's uh, got some different little sections. It's got these little uh, little poles right here that these all the accessories can slide on, which makes it so that when you're carrying the case around, it does they don't clank around and stuff. And then it's got this little section right here that the sanding pad sits on. It comes with all these um, little pads right here for the sanding accessory. The MM20, I don't believe, came with all these. It's got uh, ones that range from 60 grit all the way up to, I believe, uh, 240 is what this one right here is. Um, they're really good. They don't wear out quick. Uh, moving on to the actual tool, you've got a great little grip right here. It's not too big or bulky. Uh, there's the quick lock right here. And like I said, this little piece right here pops out. And it makes it so you can lift this up and slide it out forward. Now the great thing about this is that it's got variable speeds which most of the Dremel tools have um, they goes all the way from 1 to 10 with just turn of this little knob uh, it got a uh, little the little air vents for your motor and uh, now while uh, I'll go ahead and use a couple of these things just to demonstrate how well they work. I've got this little block set right here. It's actually screwed into the uh, into the bench, but uh, you know I can throw that piece away. So that's what we're going to play with. All right. So first up, the first uh, accessory I'm going to demonstrate is the uh, Dremel, the Multimax, the wood cutter. And like I said, it's very simple to use. All you got to do is flip on the switch. Um, I just changed out the, uh, the accessory a little bit ago. So we'll go ahead and I'll just show you how well it cuts. And this is, it's made so that um, you can cut anything flush. So if you had like a, uh, a door frame, let's say, uh, hold on a second. Let's say we had this and it was a door frame and then you came into the, uh, into the the base and you were going to lay some laminate floor down and you did not want to 
I have to take off the molding and everything, you would just be able to come by and it sits flush all the way across the bottom so that uh, you don't have to, you know, with like a handsaw and stuff, you'd have to come at a weird angle. One of the benefits is that you can do little plunge cuts with this too, and that's what I'm going to show you right here. Okay, so now we've cut our wood. Now we've got to make sure that we can get it all sanded. So right now, I'll go ahead and quick lock that, pull that piece out, take your sanding pad, and boom, you got your sanding pad ready. Now all you gotta do is grab uh, some sandpaper, Slap the sandpaper on and we're ready to get sanding. Okay, so you're the type of woodworker that likes to use reclaimed wood, right? From like pallets and stuff like that. Well, one of the big things that you gotta worry about with pallets is nails, correct? Well, what do we gotta do about that? Well, you can get them apart and if you don't, if you cannot get the nail out, what do you do? You usually break it off. Well, with the Dremel Multimax MM40, you've got a metal cutter that sits flush, so you can cut that nail off right where the wood is, and then you don't have to worry about it. And it can be part of the design feature of the pallet. All you gotta do is release your quick lock, take your wood cutter, or your metal cutter, put it on there, Snap it back together and you're ready to go. It cuts it just like going through butter. Okay, so you just saw me cut the nail off. Well, you're probably wondering how clean of a cut it actually made. Well, I'll show you right here. There is the nail right here. There's no marks around it from where the blade had went through and it didn't tear up the wood and this nail head or the nail is totally flush with the wood now if this is going to be a finished piece and you're going to use hand planes or send it through a planer i would not recommend doing it this way you know knock your nail out but this is a great way to get rid of a nail if you don't care about it being left in the wood for the scraper blade right here, I'm going to have to take this demonstration underneath my workbench where almost every woodworker probably has a little bit of a glob of glue that gets left over on their fingers or something like that. I don't have much on there right now, but I'm going to demonstrate what, it, uh, what it'll do with like leftover glue. Okay, so if you look under here with me, you can see these little bits of globs of glue from where I've just had some on my finger and I just scrape it right on off like that and it just dries right there. Well, the one good thing about this rigid uh, scraper is that it'll take that right off and not do much damage to the wood, if any damage. Um, and right here, I'm gonna demonstrate trying to get some of it off. Now I also have some of this pink paint right here from a project that I did a while ago that uh, desperately needs to get off my bench. So let's go ahead and take that off as well. Alright guys, so you've seen me demonstrate the wood and metal blade. You've seen me demonstrate just the wood blade and you've seen me do the sanding pad as well as the rigid scraper. Um, I, I haven't had any problems with any of them. Uh, just make sure that you use the right blades for the right jobs. Um, I did accidentally use the, the wood blade once on a uh, screw and it kind of tore up the teeth. 
But uh, it still does go through the wood, even though the teeth are a little bit messed up. Um, and they all have uh, the depths wrote on them, so you know how deep you've been cutting as well. Um, I like this tool for many reasons because it's got a great variety of different uh, accessories you can do. In your book, it actually comes up with a whole bunch of, access of accessories that you've had that you can get and you know the RPMs that you run them stuff like that because you don't want to run something too high if it's not supposed to be you can uh, probably burn up the the part um, now one of the things that a lot of people say about the Dremel tools is that they heat up very quick I've not had this heat up at all um, it's been ran for quite a while doing sanding jobs and it doesn't uh, get warm you know as long as you I guess as long as you don't restrict the the little airports that have the airflow coming in and out then you shouldn't have it heat up at all uh, I've been using this for a little while now and I really like it it's a great tool to have uh, I'd give it uh, four and a half stars out of five uh, just because of the versatility of it um, it would be great if they actually made one that was battery powered that way you could take it and not have to really worry about carrying around an electrical cord or an extension cord or something like that um, but you know go ahead and check out their tools they have some really great products so uh, we'll see you next time hey guys welcome out to the shop today we're going to be doing a tool review, uh, tool, uh, 